It was the 29th of December, 1943. U-606 stood ready to head out for one last patrol of 1943. High Command suspects that many ships flying neutral flags but supporting the Allied war effort started to cross the Atlantic to the south. Some of them are enemy ships using false flags to disguise themselves while others are private ships from neutral countries trading with blockaded ports of the enemy for profit. For this reason, High Command orders U-606 to inspect all neutral ships passing through this area to clarify their status. Your orders will be to travel to sector EJ-6 to EK-7 on the northeast Atlantic and travel 2,250 kilometers inside to complete the patrol. You may receive additional orders upon reaching the area. Additional objectives. You're expected to sink a minimum of 7,000 tons of enemy trained shipping. However, the anticipated number of vessels in the area is expected to be small. Good hunting, Captain. Hi everyone, welcome back to U-606's weekly patrol logs. It's a miserable day, and it's actually the evening as you can see, it's gone night time, it's, uh, it's getting dark, the sun's going down, we're currently patrolling between the Cape Verde Islands and the British colony of Gambia, uh, just off the West African coast. We completed our patrol as in the distance that we needed to do within the patrol zone and we detected no shipping whatsoever. Ah, this weather's not helping. But um, we've got plenty of fuel for the moment so we're going to stay out here and continue to patrol. Um, dropping down every so often to about 40 meters doing a hydrophone check see if we can get any long distance sounds but um, this, as I say this weather's not helping in that matter, it will uh, shorten the distance we can listen uh, and as soon as we can lock in on one of these um, convoys or a single ship moving around here uh, our hydrophone specialist should be able to track them and we'll be able to set up an ambush to either inspect them or sink them depending on uh, whatever situation we find ourselves in. So yeah, it's a little bit slow going at the moment. We've, um, we've crept into 1944. We're now at the 10th of January 1944. So yeah, we've been at sea almost two weeks now and we haven't seen a single ship, which is a little bit worrying. Um, but yeah, we'll press on. Hopefully, as soon as the dawn breaks, uh, there'll be something on the horizon which we can bring you to. Also, no contact with the BDU, so yeah, no alternative missions or any other things they want us to check out. So, yeah, what we can do is carry on doing what we're doing, and hopefully, we'll come across something very soon. Hi everyone, right, um, we are coming back to port because after many a day searching nothing was found down there in the southern routes and uh, not a single ship came, we came across and we were running low on fuel so we literally stayed there as long as we could and we're making our way back now and of course on the way back we've just stumbled into some enemy ships what looks to be they got a supply ship there at Liberty or something uh, and then we've got well that look, there's a crew hang on a minute what is that that looks like a bat is that the Nelson class battleship no hang on no no it's not it's not we've got confusion because these three funnels they look like a heavy cruiser a county class cruiser and there may be two of them flanking 
And I've seen the Soviet flag, so that's got to be a heavy cruiser. Um, I can't, I can never remember what the cruiser is. So we've got two county class cruisers by the looks of it. Around a Kirov class. What does that look? No, it doesn't look like it looks. It looks battleshipy, doesn't it? It looks like a the Nelson class battleship. That the actual bridge. Hmm. What else have we got with it? What is that? Could be a couple of ships there. Can't quite tell. Probably destroyers of some sort. Not really sure. Can't really corvette them, perhaps. So, um, we haven't got much fuel, but that is a battleship, and it looks like it's got a Soviet flag, which confuses me immensely. Um, but let's go and take a look if we can. We may not engage, but um, let's go and have a look. Okay, right, we're moving a little bit closer. Now, at the front, there's a corvette of some sort. Then we have what looks to be... Oh, there's another corvette there. And then uh, a destroyer or corvette there, probably a destroyer. And another one. And then we've got... Obviously the supply ship. That is definitely a Nelson class battleship, but it's got a Soviet flag, so I have no idea what's going on there. I'm not going to uh, ask them for uh, to inspect it to say, are you uh, genuinely a Soviet or are you the British? That back there behind this um, ship here, it's very difficult to see with the waves. That with the three masts, sorry, the three funnels. That's a heavy cruiser, county class. We've got a Nelson class battleship. We've got another county class cruiser there. And we've got a whole end of destroyers and stuff back there. So, whatever this Nelson class battleship is, I have no idea, but we are definitely probably going to have a pop at it, the cruisers and maybe the, um, the carrier, the actual supply ship here as well. Right. This gets stranger and stranger. They're not actually moving. Let's lock onto that. Now that is a Nelson class battleship. A Soviet Nelson class battleship. Radonsky or something. I don't know. That is zero velocity. Is this I don't know. Do I I'm wondering, do I move closer to that? Because if I fire torpedoes, are they gonna hit this trying to get to the Nelson class? I think they might. Let me reposition. Right, there we go. I've repositioned. So you've got counter class there, counter class there, and we've got the Radonsky, whatever it is, um, smack in front of us. Right, so distance. This is so weird. What is going on? Is there a halt on the seas, which I'm not aware of? 2,600 meters. Uh, angular bow is literally going to be almost 90 on. So what have we got in the tubes? We've got uh, a T3, a T3, and a T1. That's got fat and lats, right. Uh, so these two have both got... What is the... Is saying it's the Nelson. Why is she in Soviet colours? Um, draft of 10.5 metres. It's a bit choppy. So let's try that one out. Ten and a half. Magnetic. Um, you keep going. And if, if you don't, you turn right and come back. Tube one. Fire. Tube three, however. I want you to go along the surface. Fire. Or you come left. Fire. Right, shots fired. Now this ship here, the Empire Melody. Um 
This looks to be a Liberty. Recognize that. Velocity is zero. That's 1210 and 103 angle about. Right, uh, what's at her depth is 7.3. Actually, it's a bit choppy, isn't it? Let's send it on the surface. T3. Uh, send it. Oh, of course, and then switch left. Tube 2, fine. Right, take us down. Let's get down while oh, we reload these torpedoes. Right, um, they're coming. We have to get some of this water pumped out. We're quite, we're going deep, and it's uh, forcing the water in. Um, three good hits on the Nelson. Uh, the ship uh, we targeted last with the uh, tube two. That was a dud, unfortunately. So um, nothing going on there. We've got ships charging into us, so we need to start making some turns. Let's let's turn to port. Okay, they are close. They're just sneaking behind us to the stern. I think that runs over. Yeah, few. Okay. I'll just jog back here now as we're coming through. Got all the water out, thank heavens. Um, and yeah, we'll um. Ship there, we got ship there coming in. Uh, we still got, we still got those guys. Oops, hang on. Yes, we've still got these guys reloading the torpedo tubes, making a bit of noise, but they've got sonar anyway, so they know where we are. All we're doing is staying as deep as we. Dare go and dodging their runs. So we're down here at 170 odd meters in the red, hoping that she holds together.
Hi everyone, right, a bit of time has passed. As you can see, I'm, well, I'm drifting slightly. I'm sitting under that um, transport ship, uh, and they're going, I've come actually up to uh, 70 meters to get a better picture of what's going on. I'm getting pinged all over the place. They're going nuts, as you can imagine, all the destroyers moving off down here. Um, we have, what is that? It's a, one of the warships, no doubt. The three torpedoes that we hit the Nelson with, um, nothing much doing, I'm afraid. There doesn't seem to be any calls from the hydrophone to say that that ship has sunk. And even when uh, the torpedoes were hitting, they were calling out minimal damage. So, yeah, we may have just um, stood up a hornet's nest for no good reason. But, um, yeah, oxygen's good. We've got another seven hours, almost eight hours of our oxygen left. Obviously, fuel is uh, a big problem. So, um, yeah, we are obviously using the electric as we're underwater, so that's not a problem. Uh, but, yes, we need to manage this fuel uh, as best we can, and we need to get back to base. <laughs> that, that, that is the real... I was actually just trying to get back home. As you can see, we're just coming around the um, Spanish... Um, Spanish mainland here into the Bay of Biscay to get home to home base, but um, yeah, didn't quite make it unfortunately. But uh, yeah, we've um, got ourselves something to play with now. Welcome back, everyone. It's uh, quarter to 11 on the 27th of January 1944. Uh, most of the other destroyers and escorts have moved off, as you can see. Uh, we've got two corvettes circling around, or which I can detect anyway got the cargo ship above us and we've got the three battleship sorry the battleship and the two um, heavy cruisers so the three warships uh, all sitting here so what I might just do is chance coming out and bringing my torpedoes to bear once more we may have a pop at one of these the if we got a t5 in the uh, rear tube I'm not quite sure but um, that might be worth uh, a try as well so let's just creep out here and see if we can pop up and uh, have a few more shots and then hide under the cargo ship once more. Uh, oxygen's getting low, so I wouldn't mind um, when we're coming up to do the shots. Uh, sticking the snorkel up for a couple of minutes to get some fresh air in here. That'll certainly help. Right, we're up to periscope depth. And um, they're dead right in front of me. Holy crap. Okay, full stop. We've got two corvettes literally right there. That's not the one I thought was about, and there's the one I know there's about. Um, and the quick, oh, they they are still here. They're just not making a sound. They've stopped to try and confuse me, which they have. Uh, hit some. Oh, look at that! No damage at all. I wonder if that's just a ghost ship. It's not really there. It's just a false ship to try and tempt us out. Empire Melody, though. She is a real ship. She's still not going anywhere. So I can go and hide under Nelson if need be. 93 and it's about a thousand meters. Right, what have we got? Tube 5. A T5. I don't want to use a T5 on that. T3, T1, T3, T3. Right, okay. Um. So many juicy targets. Okay, I've swung the U-boat round. Uh, so now she's directly in front of us. We'll just do another distance reading. Right there, 100 meters. Right, what do we got? T1, T1, right. T3, 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 let's get T3. Seven point three meters, magnetic, seven point five. Let's go eight. Uh, two four. Fire. Los! Right, Nelson, my old friend. Unknown ship, they say. But we know what it is. Well, we know what it is, but it doesn't make sense. Put it that way. Okay, 1700 meters. Let's fire T1, T3, T3. Let's get you two flooded. Right, 
Feuer. Los! I'm gonna target this. Target this one. This is a heavy cruiser. That's not a cruiser. That's the one. Zero. Right. How are we gonna get a good hit on that one? Treffer. Good hit on there. Right. Flood three. I'm locking onto this one. Fire. Right, let's move forward. Let's move towards them. And see how this is going. So we've got a fire burning, but not much happening else. Torpedoes whizzing towards two torpedoes whizzing towards Nelson, one whizzing towards this HMS Suffolk. Right. And no doubt they're chasing us from behind. Good, she's sinking, which gives us our 7,000 tons, which we needed. So she's a big ship. She's sinking, apparently. Right, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Come on. Who's going to hit first, Nelson or the cruiser? 10 seconds to impact. Oh, there's a hit on the cruiser. Treffer. Fire on deck. Fire on deck, and she's actually damaged. Serious damage. There we go. Another hit on the Nelson. Minimale Schäden. Ugh. Treffer. Minimale Schäden. Oh my god. No damage on that ship whatsoever. I think that's a that's, that's a bug ship, I think. Not only is it not a real ship, it's it's just not taking damage. Right. Target the Suffolk. Once more. Tube. Four. Reload. We'll at least get the Suffolk. Fire. Now, let's have a look behind us. I'm sure they are. Yes, they are interested. Who's coming? They don't know. They don't know we've got a T5 in the, in the tail there, do they? They're looking further out than where I am. They don't realise I'm still close to the capital ships. That is interesting. The Liberty is sunk. Oh, she is lower in the water, though, isn't she? Undoubtedly lower in the water. Good hit. Serious damage. Fire on deck. I think that might be the Suffolk gone. She is taking on water, burning away. How's Nelson? Oh, we've got a destroyer moving through the gap. Taking interest. How's the torpedoes coming along? Got a T1 being loaded. T5, which has gone cold in the rear. She's sinking. HMS Suffolk sent to the bottom. Goodness me. Well, that's some good news at least. We've got the heavy cruiser and uh, and the Liberty cargo ship as well. Maybe we target the other one. Is that the Norfolk then? They were often it. Oh, not that one. That's the Esk. It's the heavy cruiser. It is the Norfolk. Okay. Norfolk and Suffolk, obviously famous for shadowing the Bismarck, uh, using their radar to keep track of her for much of the conflict. I'm wondering if this is, yeah, that's bugged, I'm wondering. Let's target the Suffolk, uh, sorry, the Norfolk. Um, velocity zero. Uh, hang on, dive. Let's go. No 
Okay, time has come when we needed to pop up for some more oxygen. Now let's take a quick stock of where we are. We've drifted a little bit. Oh, we've got a ship moving out there. Oh, we've got the... Uh, oh, the Norfolk is right behind us now. And there is um, Nelson, or unknown ship, because no one can identify it. A Soviet Nelson-class battleship that just no one knows. Uh, what have we got in the tubes? T1, T3... T5. Oh, hello. Let's lock you up and maybe get rid of you with the T5. Uh, what kind of Corvette are you? Don't know. River class will do. Velocity, you're probably doing about... What's the speed of those? They can do... Um, speed, 21 knots. Let's, let's say... About 15 knots because you haven't detected us just yet. 1100 meters and uh, 104 is the actual. So T5. Let's get you. Go and catch that, Ivy. Alright, what else do, what do you have in the other tubes? T3 and a T1, and we've got a T5 in the rear. Right, let's have a look. I know you're pinging us. We need the air. We've got to buy us some time. Fuel is bad as well. We're running out of fuel. I know we're running out of fuel. There's Nelson. Not going to bother with you. Not going to waste the T5 on you. We can use the two forward ones for that. Okay, just the Ivy, which is nearing... Ooh, hello. Good hit, and the IV is gone. There's one last thing. She's the, the active one at the moment. I'm sure that's going to trigger another one or two coming in. Maybe we can swing our rear towards that one and find the T5 there. The remaining two forward torpedoes I want to put into the uh, HMS Norfolk. The She's coming over there as well. All these two over there. Right. Let's swing around and get two torpedoes into Norfolk, see if that's going to be enough to sink her. And then I think it really will be time for us to get the hell out of Dodge. Right, there she is. Let's get two... That one and that one. Flooded. Ships are steaming in. Here they come. Right, tubes one and two. Fire! Crash dive. Let's go. Let's go, Dan. In you go. Try and get below her. Well, not below her, but, but by the side of her. But I'm hoping she sinks. Okay, after hitting HMS Norfolk, uh, we went down to crush, well, just before um, crush depth in the red, and we've been sneaking away northeast, away from the conflict. U606 is creaking away, but she's holding firm. No leaks yet. So we're down here at uh, 180 meters. Still got a couple of torpedoes in the rear, but really we are just trying to get out of here. Um, it's been an hour since we had the last ping against us. Um, 
all seems to be well. We seem to have snuck away from those corvettes and the escort ships in general. So what I might do is uh, chance coming a little bit shallower and if need be uh, coming up to snorkel depth. We're still on the electric engines because obviously we are very low on fuel uh, so we're creeping slowly back to home port. So we finally limped back into base, low on fuel and using the electric engines most of the time. But we made it back and although it was a slightly unconventional patrol, it's not exactly at all what I was planning to do. I was planning to find lots of merchant ships and inspect them to make sure they weren't smuggling war uh, war resources to allied ports but no um, we end up getting no joy down on the African coast running out low on fuel had to head back to port and then just before we got to the Bay of Biscay we bumped into the most unusual task group you'll ever see two heavy cruisers escorting a Nelson class Soviet battleship yeah. who knows not even the uh, the rest of the crew could identify the name of that ship. It was just bizarre. Um, and we put we put four torpedoes into it, and it didn't even make a scratch. It did appear that it was a little bit lower in the water, but honestly, um, I'm glad I took the decision to ignore it and then fire at the two heavy cruisers. I think it may well have been bugs, to be honest. The fact that it spawned in the wrong nationality and it couldn't identify um, who it should be um, and the fact that the actual task group was sitting there the heavy cruisers and the, the destroyer that's uh, right the heavy cruisers and the um, battleship were just sitting there but the the escort ships were still active most most bizarre indeed maybe they were a diplomatic thing waiting to escort somebody to Portugal or Spain who knows we may never know anyway we started off by sinking the Empire Melody. Uh, the sources inform us that this ship was heading from Gibraltar to an unknown destination port with raw resources in the cargo holds. Registered tonnage was 7,800 tons, registered in the UK. Boom, and that was the only trade ship we sunk. However, it was enough, just. So we get rewarded 12,000 credits and a 66 reputation boost. Tonnage sunk, 7,800 tons. Time at sea, 32 days, 13 hours. A month at sea, and that's all we came across in that time. Most bizarre. Distance traveled, 13,791.5 kilometers. So we sunk the Empire Melody, a C3. It wasn't a, it wasn't a, a Liberty, it was a C3 freighter. I got that wrong. Uh, we also sunk the County Class Cruisers, the sister ships of HMS Suffolk and HMS Norfolk. Also, we sunk HMS Ivy, a Flower Class Corvette, who was just annoying me. So I just fired a T5 at her, and um, there we go. So we reached our patrol. Enemy. We sunk the enemy trade ships registered of 7,000 tons. Just we scraped it by 800 tons. Um, and we travelled the 2,250 kilometres inside the marked area. So, a most bizarre patrol this one. Um, we're going to have to report the sightings and what we found. Uh, the BD officer may not believe us what we were reporting because that was that was strange. Um, but anyway, that is our patrol. It's it's a funny one. We'll um, chalk that off. We're now in 1944. So hey. The war's going to go our way, right? Must do. It's about time that the world turned in our favour. Uh, if only we knew. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a challenging time. As I say, we set on the 29th of December in 1943, and we've returned on the 28th of January, 1944. Oh, no, that's when we sunk Norfolk, sorry. Uh, we can return much later than that. So, we're going to leave it there for this patrol. An odd one, as I said, for repeating myself for the umpteenth time. 
Uh, thanks so much for watching. We'll hopefully have something a little bit more expected next time uh, as we choose probably a more interesting mission than just doing a uh, routine patrol down on the African coast. Join me for that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.